So I bought this ABS Pesha around two years ago. Uh, the plan was putting it in the skidster, but I never really came forward with that. The reason for installing it in the excavator instead is there's a way bigger chance this is going to be in the forest or on some job like that. So it's always good to have a heater option in the winter times. I actually got a really good price for this. I paid 400 euros, which is really cheap for stuff like this. It comes from a store that got bankrupt. They sold everything out. So when I got this heater, I marked every cable up, just for the ease of it when installing it later, which I'm really happy about now. I even painted a picture here, how the fan is going to be connected. So this is the timer you put in the cab. You can set the week schedule, I think. If you want it to start Monday, 7 in the morning, you can use this to put that on. And this is a remote. I think it's got a range for like one kilometers, maybe, in good conditions. And here's the heater. So this got the fuel pump and the water heater built in, which is really nice. Oh, water heater, water <whistles> circulator, what do you call it? Water pump. <laughs> this kit seems to have been intended for, for a Ford Ranger. I guess you can choose which side you want this on. I think somewhere here is the best spot to install it. This is the player room. Something like this. So I'm just gonna weld some kind of holder from this, this beam to that. So, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make something that uses the screws here. Something like this and then goes down and holds the heater around here, I think.
Right, so this is coming like that. Um, So I'm just gonna completely weld this and maybe put some strengthening pieces. So the welding is all done, just let's put some color on this and start with the electric. So while I'm still at it, I might as well just rip out the chair. I don't know if you can hear this. It's like an unbalanced vibrating sound. So I've been, I've been thinking about ripping the chair out and checking the fan in the summer, but I didn't really prioritize it. I might as well do it right now, which is going to make it much easier to just install everything here without the share in the way. So, I actually found the fan. The fan is here. Yeah, fill it with my hand. And I thought this was just a lid over the fan. But when I tried to lifting it, this is a complete plastic piece. So you need to unscrew everything underneath here too to get this up. So I'm not going to get that up without removing this. I'm not really feeling for that right now. So I'm going to try and just use some compressed air to see if the sound is disappearing. Yeah, you can see how much dirt it is. So when blowing air into this, a paper piece came out, so 
I'm pretty certain that was what was making the sound. Let's give it a try. Yeah, yeah there's no sound now, so, so let's put everything back together again. I'm thinking about putting this in here. Right, so let's pull this harness through. So I think about leaving this relay, and this is going to be connected to the battery where all the other stuff is, and just yeah, this is going to the heater, and these cables are going inside the cab. So I'm just going to plug this to the fan, and this is for the tiny little computer. Inside. So this is the last thing to be connected for the battery. So we'll leave that. Now I'm just going to get all this cable through here. So I'm just thinking I'm going to follow the, uh, the cooling pipe that goes under here and inside the cab.
So that that is just so the cable won't won't get hurt on the sharp edge. Now I only need to find the fan cable. So there's really just two cables that goes here. One black and one red, so I guess I guess the red one is for the fan. Let's see if that's true. Yeah, so that that is the fan you can see. Fan off. No power. Fan on. Power. So I'm just going to cut that. Okay, so this is the plus coming from the machine going there and into this. Alright, so here's that cable. So if everything works as it should, the fan will start when I turn the key. So that works as normal. So the thing I did there was normally the power comes from out there, in here and to the fan and the fan starts. The only difference now is the power going here and then it's going out to the relay and back and to the fan and it starts like normal when not using the heater. The only difference now is that when I turn on the heater, the heater will send a plus signal from the relay to the fan to start it. Which means that the plus signal is not going to come from here, like it usually would. The relay is going to send that signal instead to start the fan. Right, so this is all the right up now, so... So I realized I need to turn the heater. The bend in the hose is being too big otherwise. Yeah, this is better. So this is the inlet part and that's the outlet part here. Usually they only have two parts, but these have three. So that's a comfort valve as they call it. You can either block it or use it.
So the plan was to change out this coupling since the other hose is much bigger. It, it won't fit in this, but I couldn't really find anything. So I'm not really going to bother with that. I'm just going to leave a bit of this hose still there and join the hoses together. I mean, the, this is much bigger than, than that, but at the same time I can with a little bit of violence get it into this hose. So. So I'm not going to bother with the convert valve. I, I'm gonna skip that. The main reason is that <laughs> I got so much left of the cooling hose. I ordered a little bit too little, so it's not really needed. The, so the, the only real thing with this comfort valve is to prioritize the heating for the cab and I don't really see any, any need for that. So. so I'm just gonna use a bolt to plug this. So next step is the exhaust to mount that. So oh, that went better than expected. Actually, got it pretty. So the only problem I see with this it is that it sticks out like that. And but I will have it like this to see. I mean, when it breaks, it breaks. I need to find a better place then. But I'm gonna leave it as it as it is right now. I don't really think it's gonna break. I think it's gonna hold. So next step is to 
fix the fuel. So I'm just thinking about stealing from the return return hose. Normally when plugging in the fuel you want to drill a hole in the tank and take it directly from there but mm, too much work. I'm just gonna steal it from the return hose instead. So this is the fuel hose and this is just some kind of uh, foam. I guess it's a protection for, for the fuel hose. So you're just hose just pushing in here. So this is just a little bit too big. It is. So that's good. So I've been letting it running for around 10, 15 minutes now. You can actually feel the hose has got liquid in them since they're warm. So I'm going to prime the fuel system for this. So everything is pretty much done back here. The fuel line is bleeded and everything is hooked up. I put the cables here too. So that's connected. And we got a realize there and the fuses. Even gave this a little bit of a cleaning. And while I was still at it, I changed these two. They were kind of worn out, so. So I'm only gonna need these three. I'm going to isolate the remaining one with some tape.
So I don't really want to cut these off, just in case if I may actually want to plug in something extra later on. So everything is supposed to work. Start the heater. 30 minutes, go. I mean, it's not, not actually that loud. You can really feel it starting to get real hot here. So everything works except one thing, and that's the fan. The fan won't start. I think there's some kind of relay. So the cable I plugged into still has some kind of a relay. So that's just a cable feeding it. So I think the AC controller still has to, has to have power in order to start the fan. So since this doesn't require much power, I'm just going to use the existing cables I already have. So So everything should work. So I just put this here just for some extra fire safety. I mean if this starts leaking and you got the exhaust here so Alright, so, so let's try this timer to see if it works. Let's try to set the heater to start tomorrow at 9. Monday, Friday, yes. No, it's actually it's Sunday tomorrow, so let's set that to 9. Alright. I want the heater to go. Let's try some more. Let's go with that. It's set to 9, so let's leave it as is and see if it starts tomorrow. The year just went from 2022 to 2023. And I've been fixing the diesel heater <laughs> while that happened, so I got one leftover banger from last year I can celebrate the new year with.
So this has been running for half an hour now, so it's all warm and cozy in here. <laughs> Yeah, so the coolant temp is now 65 degrees Celsius. Yes, the Yetski season is over now. <laughs> 